Hey everyone, it's Jake with Jack Collectibles, and today I got some more Pokemon Shining Fates packs to open, and just a little bit of Hidden Fates. So uh, this was the second week of the Target 8 a.m. Uh, card release. So went to uh, one Target, waited in line for about an hour, was I believe 13th in line. Got there, and they had hardly any Pokemon, and they had just some baseball, which I did not really get any of that. Uh, was able to get a little bit of uh, Pikachu V boxes, got two of those. Um, and then another, went to another Target where I was able to get some um, Shining Fates tins. We got two Shining Fate tins and one Hidden Fate tin. So got those uh, four packs there. And then another Target, I was able to get one um, Mad Pin collection and a uh, two more Pikachu V boxes. So all in all, I believe we've got 31 uh, Shining Fate packs and four Hidden Fate packs. So we'll see if we can hop in today, find that Charizard finally. Still not pulled one from either of these sets. So would love, love, love to be able to get one today. If you have subscribed to the channel, Subscribe, leave a thumbs up. That is a weird looking Pokemon right there. Hey, we got a Galarian Weezing right off the bat. Nice shiny to start off here. Yeah, if you haven't subscribed, subscribe, leave a thumbs up. Let me know what you think here. Have you been able to go to your targets? What was it like today? I was hoping for some uh, prison basketball. Nada. Didn't have any this week. More Peko V, ultra rare. We'll take that. So, but for maybe some prism football, nothing. All they had was Donner's baseball and Topps Heritage baseball. So, there he is again. The old Snom. Looking weird. Professor of Research. and a Gossifleur and a hollow Galarian Weezing. Go with our shiny Galarian Weezing. Ball guy. It's a horsey and another more Peko V. Double more Peko Vs. Let's see, do we have a hit here? Looks like we've got a Cramorant VMAX. We'll take a VMAX for sure. Oh, Cramorant. And a Galarian Stunfisk. Check out that guy. Pretty silly, and a boss's orders. Get out of here, boss's orders. All right, last pack here of uh, Pikachu V box number two. Ooh, it's like we might have a little something, something. Maybe we've got a Milsery shiny and our creamy V Max. Yep, there we go. I could see the sparkle and knew that that's what we had. Um, kind of a yucky off center left to right, unfortunately. But hey, nice uh, rainbow rare there. The only rainbow rare from the set. We will take that hit. Not bad for eight packs so far. So let's go to... Let's go to these next. We'll save the tins for last. We'll go the Mad Party Collection. We got the Galarian Mr. Rhyme was what our one box was. So we'll open these three next. Nicket, Reverse, and Celebi. Hey, 
Hey, there's a nice little baby shiny there. Eskew. We'll take him. A little square headed little penguin man. Last track here of the Galarian and Mr. Ryan. A little box. No shiny VMAX, but a shiny Toxtricity. Not bad. And two baby shinies out of uh, three packs. We will take that. No shiny VMAX yet. Still hoping for some here. This guy here. Move into the Pikachu. Other two Pikachu V boxes here. Q fans and Azuri. Gossifleur again and Azuri again. Got a hit, and it is a Charizard V Max. There we go. Finally, I get the pull that I've been looking for. Let's take a look at this dude right here. Finally, out of the Pikachu V Box, Charizard V Max. Very nice hit there. So, unfortunately, this one is. Uh, off center left to right probably a little outside of PSA's boundaries for a 10 uh, everything else looks really nice though so I mean maybe you never know definitely we'll still send it in and you know see what we can get but nice Charizard V Max shiny on a big hit right there let's make a uh, let's make a special spot for you right here let's uh Let's throw these regular rares out of the way. Put him right there in the middle. All right, nice. So we still got uh, more packs to go, so let's keep it rolling. Let's pull another one, right? Hey, why not? Why stop at one when you can get two? Hoo -hoo. Got a hollow frost moth. Nice, we got a gold hit here, and it is the Eternatus V Max gold. Nice hit there. Dang, look at how off center it is, too. Left to right, tiny little border there, and a big fat border. Man, I really like this card. I just wish it would have been centered. It looks so nice in person. These gold ones are awesome. Yeah, boss's orders. Don't care about that. I'm gonna roll here with some of these hits. And a drizzle, nice little baby shiny. And another V pull. And a pin kerchin. Wow, this this uh, string of packs has been really nice from these TV boxes. So I want to keep them separate so we can kind of see what uh, some of the nicer pools we're coming out of. Not that it's always the same, but I like to try to you know just keep track of which ones are giving me better hits. I do think it matters sometimes, actually, uh, especially like the Champion's Path. I mean, I'd open so much of it. Those are our two promos, Cramorant and Eldegoss from our tins. Oh, with so much Champion's Path, you kind of start to see that you know, some, some configurations seem like they have better pool rates. I mean, it's just the facts. So I like to try to keep up with, uh, with all of them so you can see if maybe... One might have maybe a little better pull rates than others. 
And a Rillaboom shiny. There we go. That, I like that one. Really like the Rillaboom. Probably my favorite uh, of the baby shinies available, I'd have to say. Looks pretty nice, too. He's definitely my favorite of uh, you know, the latest wave of starters. Rusted Shield and another Galarian Weezing. Cramorant. Reverse Hollow and a Dreadnought. Is a reverse hollow Rillaboom. Boss's orders. Wow. Man, these these tens are stinky so far. And there's a reverse EV and a Cramorant V. Yeah, these are those first six. Man, that first ten was awful. Usually you're getting a lot of hits out of these tens, and man, that was struggling. Still no, uh, just like you know, regular full art shines. Hatina, baby shine. No full arts period as well, so far. Echo and a Decidueye Hollow. And a Grim Snarl V Max. Man, I thought we had almost gotten lightning in a bottle twice here today. Grim Snarl V Max. Full art shiny. Very nice. Um, this one is also off center, left to right. You can tell the uh, right there is thicker than the left, but nice hit. We'll definitely take that. But unfortunately, you go behind the Charizard. Dreadnought and another Cramorant V Max. We've got a whole flock of Cramorants down there. Alright, last pack of Shining Fates. And we'll hop into our four packs of Hidden Fates. And we end with a Stone Journer Baby Shiny. Alright. Now, time for Hidden Fates. Let's see, can we really hit a big home run and come away with a shiny Charizard out of Hidden Fates as well? We've got a Gyarados 10. That's the uh, one they had. They had no Charizard 10s, just Gyarados and Raichu. So let's see, give me the Gyarados, please. Love Hidden Fates. Opened a ton of it. Looks like we've got maybe a shiny. Let's uh let's hold that one just just to see. Just to see. Looks like maybe it was a full art shiny. I don't think it was Charizard, because I think the Charizard and you can tell on the border. It's like uh part of his wing or something. We'll see. We'll see. Got an Ekans reverse and a Pinsir GX. Pinsir is one of my favorite uh Pokemon growing up. Really liked Pinsir. Thought he was just super cool. So, I like that one. Wish he would have a uh, full art shiny in the set. Fortunately, he doesn't. Just got an ultra rare, but I do like him. Got a Lapras reverse hollow and a Weezing rare. Last pack before we hop into that. Full Art Shiny, Pikachu, Voltorb, Farfetch'd, 
and Electro. All right, all it comes down to this one. Let's see. What's it going to be? We've got, and it is a Lycanroc GX. So a nice uh, full art shiny. Unfortunately, one that I've gotten like three or four of this guy and multiple versions of him. So there's two different versions of Lycanroc full art shiny from Hidden Fates. Gotten both of them many, multiple times. Still zero Charizard um, <laughs> shinies from Hidden Fates. I just, it's hard to believe how you can hit some of these so many times and then others just, you can never pull them. So it's just the way the luck goes sometimes. Uh, let's check out our baby shiny pulls again. So out of 31 packs, we've got one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. So just around one in every three packs, which is about the average that I've seen for the baby shinies. One in every three packs. Um, we did have uh, four ultra rares from Shiny Fates, the one from Hidden Fates. Had a couple of the uh, V Maxes. We did get the secret rare, the Rainbow Al Creamy, and an Eternatus V Max. Very sweet. Looks so cool. So, unfortunately, way off center. And then the big dogs from the break, we got the Grim Snarl V Max Full Art Shiny and this big guy, the Charizard V Max Shiny. So very excited to finally pull him from uh, Shining Fates. Really like that card. Look at probably holding on to him for sure. Um, and then, of course, you know, we got the Full Art Shiny Lycan Rock from Hidden Fates. So nice to get a full art shiny from Hidden Fates. I know those don't come around at every 10. Definitely happy to pull that. Just wish it was uh, one of the guys I hadn't pulled yet. You know, there's several of the evolutions that I want that I don't have yet. Charizard, of course, a couple other ones. So thanks for watching, guys. Comment below. Let me know what you think. Um, what have your adventures been like? Um, finding cards recently. Have you gone to the target 8 a.m. drops and what's your results been like? I'd love to hear about it. And thanks for watching. If you haven't subscribed, subscribe, leave a thumbs up, and hope you have a great day.